Thanks for joining us for 32 questions in honor of Unity's 32nd flight. Oh, hey, it's Jamil Janjua. So good to see you, man. How's it going? It's going great. Come on in. Where are we? We're in Spaceport America. So what do you do here at Virgin Galactic? I'm one of our experimental test pilots. Describe yourself in three words. Say I'm diligent, curious, and sentimental, actually. What's it like being a pilot? Oh, it's fantastic. I have the best views from my office. What's your favorite memory from here at Spaceport America? It's got to be the first time that I saw a space launch. How long have you been a pilot? I've been a pilot since I was 16 years old. Roughly how many hours have you spent in the sky? I have more than 5,000 total flying hours in more than 65 different airplanes. Come on. Nice sunnies. <laughs> Thanks. So Jamil, when was your first solo flight? Uh, it was the summer of 1995. I had a pilot's license and a glider before I could drive a car. Epic. What's your sign? Libra. What's your call sign? Chocolate. We don't choose these things, they choose us. <laughs> What's your pre-flight ritual? I like chatting with the maintenance professionals. It helps me make sure I get to know the team a little bit better. Finally back inside. So what is your favorite aircraft? It's gotta be Spaceship Unity. What's one goal you're determined to achieve in your lifetime? I hope I can inspire somebody else to do something great. Wait a second, what's behind that curtain? The wizard lives behind the curtain. Don't worry about it. Can you show me? No, didn't your mother teach you any manners? No, oh, let's go. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened while in flight? Hmm, let me think about that. I'll get back to you guys. See you in a bit. I'm back. So you wanted to know one of the funniest moments I had in an airplane. I once made a bucket of popcorn and gave it to my navigator when we were flying back over the Mediterranean in a tornado. We had fun. Delicious. Mm -hmm. What will be your Galactic 07 pre-spaceflight meal? Well, my mom's gonna be in town, so I'm gonna ask her to make one of my favorite meals as a child. She's gonna make me some of her homemade samosas, I hope. They're awesome. Shout out to mom. Mm-hmm. Who was on your bedroom wall as a kid? I had a poster of Chris Hadfield on my wall. It stayed on my wall through university. I still have it at home. If you could pick anyone, living or dead, to be your co-pilot, who would it be? Hmm, if I had to be a pilot, I'd choose Neil Armstrong. If not, King James. You mean LeBron James? Yeah, if we could fit him in a spaceship, that man's got game. Do you want a cupcake? Uh, no thanks. I'm trying to keep my weight down for flight. Fair. How do you spend your days when you're not flying? Well, I support our engineering and design teams uh, working on our Spaceship Delta so that we can get those airborne as soon as possible. I'm looking forward to it. Do you think you're going to feel a difference between flying a spaceship and a regular plane? Hmm, don't know. Pass. I'll let you know very soon though when I find out. Hold you to that. Deal. What's the longest distance you've flown? I once flew an F-18 from Canada to Hawaii. That's a long way. What advice would you give to your younger self? When you feel like you're down and out and you're kind of losing steam, don't. Dig in. Keep working. Stick with it. It'll work out. The world wants to know, needs to know. Do you believe in alien? Uh, I think there's there has to be life off of this Earth, otherwise the universe seems like kind of an awful big waste of space, if not. Come on, let's go to the hangar. Hey again. Hey. Maverick or Iceman? Ooh, very good question. In Top Gun 1, Maverick. Top Gun 2, Iceman, definitely. How do you deal with stressful situations? I just fall back on my training. I do things the way we've done a thousand times in practice. Describe your flying style in three words. Hmm, I'd say precise, professional, and patient. Name one thing you cannot live without. Definitely my family. Name three items in that pilot bag you have right there. Uh, I got my sunglasses, got some gloves, and my earplugs. 
What's one item you wish you could take with you on your first space flight? One item I'm going to take with me are the first set of wings that I earned. What's the oddest thing you have heard over the radios? The strangest thing I've heard is somebody doing an Elvis impersonation when I was flying over Vegas, for real. Epic. Yeah. Hey, we're at the sim. Come on in, I'm gonna practice. If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? I'd be able to make people laugh uncontrollably whenever I like. One last question. What is the most important life lesson for someone to learn early in life? Don't ever give up on your dreams. Keep working hard towards them. It'll work out. And if you can see it, you can be it. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us, Jamil. We'll see you later at Astra, and good luck with your first ever space flight. Thanks so much. I'm excited. Woo!